Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last night, House Republicans released a dangerous and irresponsible bill that threatens to destabilize our nation's health care system and rob millions of Americans of their health insurance plans. Since coming to Congress, I've worked tirelessly to find common sense fixes to our nation's health care laws. Uh, we should be working together to build upon the reforms we've already made to expand coverage and reduce costs. But what my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have put forward would make working families, seniors, children, and people with disabilities foot the bill for their poorly conceived experiment. What's worse, they're giving our constituents and their representatives in Congress less than 48 hours to review it before jamming it through committees. As a former businesswoman and entrepreneur, I'm always stunned to see leaders in Congress put forward a half-baked plan like this, one that threatens massive disruption and chaos released in the middle of the night without any data or metrics to show how it makes literally anything better. In the private sector, that's the sort of behavior that can get you fired. And for a moment, let's put aside the fact that committees are planning to mark up this legislation tomorrow without any data from the Congressional Budget Office on how many of our constituents can expect to lose health coverage or see their taxes go up. And let's talk about the one thing we do know. This bill is an enormous tax cut for the wealthiest Americans. Through this bill, Republicans are trying to give an average tax cut of around $7 million to the 400 highest income households, a tax cut they don't need and didn't ask for. And they're doing it while ripping health insurance away from millions of hardworking Americans, forcing seniors to pay a staggering $3,200 more on premiums every year for less coverage, increasing the cost of prescription drugs for middle-class families, eliminating coverage for women's health care, like birth control, breast cancer screenings, and maternity care, and decimating the Medicaid program for 62 million children and families, seniors, pregnant women, and people with disabilities. This is hardly what I'd call a great deal or a better way for the middle class, which is what the American people were repeatedly promised by President Trump and Speaker Ryan. No, their idea of a health care plan is a tax cut for the wealthy at the expense of everyone else. And when our health care system falls apart, we'll all pay the price. My inbox has been flooded with phone calls, emails, and letters from constituents who are terrified about what the Republicans are trying to do. Like Stacy from Snoqualmie, who got coverage under the Washington State Exchange after spending years struggling to pay for health care. She recently wrote to me and said, quote, just last week I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I'm terrified, not as much by the cancer, but by the thought that we might not be able to pay for health insurance. This spell spells disaster for people like, Trace, like Stacy, and as her representative in Congress, I will not stand for it. I will fight every day to protect the reforms that have made health insurance accessible and affordable for her. We can't go back to a time when getting sick meant going bankrupt, and that's exactly what this legislation would do. I yield back.